Vibes Cartel just bought a new house, sharing photos of his stunning property with fans. In Jamaican TikTok sensation, Rosalie opens up about her journey from selling peanuts in Kingston to internet fame, sharing her story with Winford Williams. Plus, Swiss Lee speaks on the recent World Dog incident while celebrating his own success. Vibes Cartel buys a new house. That's right, the summertime artist has leveled up big time. Cartel, who recently got out of prison, had been talking about his plans to invest in real estate, and he's now made that a reality. He shared some photos of his new crib in Jamaica on Instagram, where he's chilling on the front steps with the head of Mac Squad Security, General Mac. Now, this house isn't just a regular property. It looks like Cartel has some big plans, as he's hinting at more real estate investments. Cartel captioned his post saying, See who's watching me at my new place. Don't come near. What do you all think of that? Do you believe he's securing his future or just flexing? And what do you think about the fact that Max Squad Security is already on guard at his new home? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about Jamaican TikToker Rosalie. In her first major interview with Winford Williams on Onstage TV, Rosalie, whose real name is June Dixon, opened up about her life, family, and how she went from selling peanuts on the streets of Kingston to becoming a full-time TikTok sensation. Can you believe she used to hustle on the sidewalks, selling peanuts, and now she's one of the most recognizable faces on Jamaican social media? Before I start TikTok and live streaming, yes. it's a street side vendor. Mm -hmm. It's a sell downtown. For years. I get a break. I get a bus. Look at me now. Look at me now. Sidewalk me I come from Renford. I'm not sure if I talk. Sidewalk me I come from. Don't have tone settings. Right out of Captain Berkey not parade. But them change it now I have one bill in there. But it was Captain Berkey before, right? That's what I used to sell. Peanut. So I'm a hustler. I mean, I'm a hustler in the street. I'm a go-getter. Before all of this. So that's why I'm not lazy. I'm a girl who knows to run around and jump around and chuckle around because food I eat. Talk about a glow up. She also got real about the negativity she faces online, admitting that dealing with bad comments can be tough, but that she's not afraid to stand up for herself. People always accept me for all me look and the things them. So they will try to pick on me, they will try to mock me. So me try to come out now and make a no stay. It's not who, it's not who, you know, I know how I look. I'm a human being like everybody else. Yes. So, I'm not going to make a pick for me, I'm not going to make a walk for me. If you say something to me, I'm going to say back something to you. Because you know what time it is. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of you because you're not afraid of me. So, I'm going to put it back in one spit and make a note say, yeah, I have more to talk to. Yes. And are they real enemies or just... You know, battle, social media battles. Well, are, they, are these people that you are in contention with, are they real enemies to you? We wouldn't call it that. Okay. We wouldn't call it that Mr. Renford, because everybody I look down to, everybody I look down to, everybody want to, everybody want to. So we wouldn't call it real enemy. We would call it hurry up for the spotlight. Oh. Lee even coined the popular slang, do this and beat me, which has taken off on TikTok. She's confident, bold, and not backing down from anyone. Her journey from street vendor to TikTok star is inspiring. Or does it show just how unpredictable social media fame can be? The recent interview with Swiss Lee shed light on both the highs and the lows of his journey. After hosting a successful birthday party on October 11th at Jamaica's National Stadium parking lot, tragedy struck when Swiss close friend, World Dog, was involved in a double shooting incident in Miramar, Florida. Despite the unfortunate event, Swiss focused on the positive aspects of his life and career in the interview, giving us a glimpse into his resilience and future aspirations. When asked about his growing success, Swiss humbly attributed it to hard work and faith. You can't get too comfortable. Mm -hmm. I know nothing lasts forever. I don't know when TikTok is gone. So if you know, say, all right, TikTok, they are to some other business, yeah? my mother, all right, I'm have this idea with. Is it me? You know, Swiss, you're good. You are going to be fine, Bertie. You're going to find anything ways. else. Anything else say that got me, okay? If you say that, if you say more, yeah. well, since you're more, <laughs> might, might as well be, be said to you, say, that 
you put your head to it and you focus on it. You're yeah. good at what you're doing. Yeah. It's nothing to do with superstition. Yeah. You're focused and you're working hard and you are a clean hearted youth. Yeah. Clean heartedness, you know, is important too. Yeah. No bad mind no go on and thing and, and just no. take the burden of bad mind. Bad mind is a burden. Everybody at them time in the windfall. Yeah. Rainfall from everybody roof, you know. Yes. So today for you, tomorrow for me. See. I just when God saw your time. Ah. You can't bad mind a man. Ah, so. So, so just focus on where I do He was surprised by the turnout at his birthday party, revealing that the venue had to be extended due to overwhelming ticket sales. His gratitude extended to his promotion team, including names like Romich, King 6 TV, and TikTok itself, which he credited for support. Party the other night. Um, were you surprised? Yeah, I was very, very surprised. Like, when Ramish called me, Ramish told me, um, I'm going to um, extend the venue. Mm -hmm. I said, Ramish, why you extend the venue? I bet they make the venue more smaller and it rams so the people can cancel the party look away. Yes. So Ramesh show me the ticket sale and We should them. credit Ramesh for yes, this. After. After Ramesh the promotion. It. Yes, and promotion, his promotion, his company. The radio. Uh -huh. Everything Ramesh did with us. So I have to give Ramesh a lot of credit. Of I have to give the TikTok of them a credit too. Yes. All the like TikTok of them I invite from foreign Lulu, Alanja, Ella, yes. World Dog, King Donia, Six T V, Candy. Rosalie, <laughs> all of them, Kade, all of them. You see me? <laughs> TikTok should give you free promotion. <laughs> that yeah. boosted his visibility. The conversation shifted to the shooting incident involving World Dog. Swiss remained tight lipped about the details due to the active police investigation, but shared that World Dog was recovering after surgery and asked fans to keep him in their prayers. Swiss also spoke about his rise on TikTok, where he gained fame through creative skits and live streams with thousands of viewers tuning in. His relationship with fellow influencer Rebel has also been in the spotlight, and Swiss expressed his deep admiration for her, acknowledging her role in motivating him throughout his journey. I'm going to go for TikTok, I'm going to start work, work, start with the entertain, start just up in the costume, then me and Warlock start just up in a costume. Mr. Warlock start doing it, then we say, yo, bro, me the tour will start doing this, and then the tour will start doing it. Then the live start go 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 people are watching. We have some, bro, some different views, them, you see me? Mm -hmm. Then we start um, at the rest of TikTok, and then the views, them just start go, go from that rest of the history. Yeah. Then me and Rebel now, everybody said me and Rebel in our relationship. Yes. Get bigger and bigger and bigger. What are you? Huh? Are you in a relationship? Rebel have a little girlfriend. You have a little girlfriend? Rebel is my little girlfriend. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Is it a good girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That talk is about you and her. That can't uh, dead. You can't dead. Anywhere we go. Anywhere we go, bro. I just eat that right now. Anywhere yeah. we go. Swissly, a, a rebel a woman. If a man's rebel, a, a Swissly a man. Yeah. It's just our thing that. She deserves everything. She's, everything. She's, yes. And she's, she's a, a good, good girl to me. She's a hard know? worker. Her humility and her commitment to what she's doing. Yeah. It's she motivates me a lot. Oh, gosh. She yes. motivates me a lot. Like, if anything, we can call my phone and me and I talk and read about anything. So she motivates you big time. Big Bridget. time. That's good. Yeah, I respect her, bro. Yeah. Looking to the future, Swiss hinted at plans for a TikTok tour with other content creators and shared his entrepreneurial goals of investing in the car trade and buying a house. He emphasized his determination to continue working hard, staying humble, and inspiring others from similar backgrounds. Rami shall line up one tour for the whole of you know. It is like a TikTok tour. So I, we are doing right now. We bring all our TikTok of them. I would just travel the world. Yes. So that's really what I'm doing right now. Yes. So that's how I want father speed recovery, you know? So father can dip on the tour. You see me? Talk Remember me tell you something I want to be an entrepreneur? Yes. Yeah, I didn't hear them I look for right now. I want to own some business. Yes. You see me? Yeah, yeah. I want to start buy and sell car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right now the aim to want to buy one house. Time for me to lift up my daughter, I get her, you know? Yes. Yeah. I'm not fit, you know, fit right in me.